from technique to technology to techno. These next street scenes, Michelle Bailo and Zeus Baizun started out as competitive figure skaters. Their technique turned to technology, and Baizun, the dynamic music duo, was on the covers of magazines in Germany, Japan, Poland, and the UK. They're bringing it back home with their Tokyo Cyber Monster parties. Tonight, Michelle and Zeus are live at the Opera House. I did pair skating, competed internationally for Canada. I had an offer from Greece to represent Greece. With skating, you are somehow engaging as a musician would with music. I played in funk bands from the time I was about 14. Bands like the Chemical Brothers, Kraftwerk, Prodigy, Nine Inch Nails, these big electronic bands, Daft Punk were hitting the scene. I started kind of experimenting with it a little. When Zeus first showed me the electronic programs, I mean, instantly I was, I was Hooked. She just picked it up like that and it was just incredible. We put it up on the website and the reaction was just, they couldn't believe it. Zeus's head is on the interface, he's dressed up in a robot costume, the head trip pad, which was Zeus's head, you would move it around and it would create a really bizarre effect on the sound. Now we've made five programs, it's really gotten us a lot of exposure internationally. Contacting promoters in Japan, they'd heard of us. They're very into the technical side of things. They used our software, so the tour just kind of booked itself. The Harajuku scene there is incredible. We did a few parties, one in particular, Tokyo Decadence. The costuming there is unbelievable. We've never seen anything like this in Toronto, not even on Halloween. Why not try to bring this amazing party back to Toronto? Adding something actually interesting to the Toronto scene because most of the clubs and I'm sure most of the events that you go to are very run-of-the-mill. Uh, dare I say even boring, but at least conformist. We became quite close friends with the organizer in Japan. He gave us the blessing to go ahead and use the Tokyo Cyber Monster name and make it an official arm of his party in Tokyo. We needed costumes. So that's when I picked up the sewing and the designing and it, it just came somewhat naturally. Through dancing like apparently Iggy Pop, I've been told, um, I got kind of put on the stage. It's kind of like an improvisation. I, I have no idea what the hell I'm going to wear until the night before. I and mean, then the day of, I have no idea. People who showed up at the first Cyber Monster all dressed in goth gear. Now, a few weeks ago, we saw them walking down the street and they're all of a sudden in funny, weird colors. Musically, artistically, more interesting than pretty well any other event that we can go to in the city. They want their crowd to be just an eclectic bunch of everything. With Bison, one song can go from industrial to techno to electro, within one song to jungle. They're going for a kind of a dissident kind of thing, so they clutter up their, their programs rather than having a focal point. We're making music how we feel we should be making music, which is what's coming out of us. I'd like to see Bison opening for Kraftwerk or the Chemical Brothers within the next couple of years is what I would like to see.